Hello kids! How are you today? I'm Sergix and I'm gonna be your guide for today's lesson. Are you ready? Come on! Before we proceed to our new lesson, let us first know the meaning of the word problem solving. Problem solving is a series of steps that you work through covering multiple aspects of a problem until you can find a solution. To solve a particular problem, we need to follow the step-by-step -step solution. So here are the steps in problem solving. Number one, understand, or we need to analyze the problem. Number two, plan, or decide on a solution. Number three, solve or implement the solution or the strategy. And the last one is to check or review the result if it is acceptable. So this time, we are going to read the word problem and we will solve it to get the GCF or the greatest common factor and the LCM or the least common multiple. Alex and her sister take turns in watering their flowers in the garden. Her turn to water their roses in every four days and their orchids in every eight days. Suppose Alex watered both roses and orchids on the third day of the month. When will Alex turn to water them again? And now, we are going to use the step-by-step -step method in solving word problem. First is understand. We need to understand the problem in order for us to know what is as in the problem. The answer is, Alex turns to water the flowers again if he watered it on the third day of the month. Next question, what are the given facts? The given facts are, first, every four days for roses. Second, every eight days for orchids, and the last one, third day of the month. The second step in solving word problem is to plan or decide on a solution. In this method, we are going to search or find the best strategy to solve the problem. The question is, what strategy can we use to solve the problem? The answer is, we can solve for the LCM of the two quantities, we can do this through continuous division method. Next, we are going to add the LCM or the least common multiple to the day she watered the flowers together. Okay, so the next step is we're going to solve or to carry out the plan. The plan is we're going to get the LCM of 4 and 8. In getting the LCM of 4 and 8, we're going to know what is the common prime factors of 4 and 8. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. And 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 2 and 4 are also divisible by 2. Therefore, Alex's turn to water the flowers again is on 11th day of the month. The last step in solving word problem is to check. We are going to list all the multiples of 4 and 8. So the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. The multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. Then we're going to get the least common multiple or the LCM. So the common multiple is equal to 8. This is the least common multiples of 4 and 8, and we get the correct answer.
And now, you are going to answer activity A. You are going to find the greatest common factor or the GCF and the least common multiple or LCM of the following problem. There are 48 girls and 80 boys which group separately. Each group have same number of children. What is the possible number of children in each group?